Make sure I look good. Turn the uh, turn the beauty filter on, okay? Hold on. All right, we're good. All right. <laughs> it's just like your mic's fucking big. Right. That's what she said. Right. Yo, what's happening, people? This is day one of the expo. It's gonna be fucking loud, but we can hear me anyway. Let's try to keep this in my face. I saw a comment on a video saying to someone, you're the most humble guy on YouTube and I thought, what's that even mean, man? Most. <laughs> you know, and it's like, but, and I'm not trying to be like that and trying to be like self-deprecating at all, but I just don't value it as much. I don't value like being looked up to as much. I don't value leaving a legacy. I don't value anything like that. I just value like being able to like relate to people and feel involved in something. And that's how you really engage with life. You have to engage with people to be engaged with life, really, because that's all it there is. Otherwise, it's just grass, man. It's so you want to be else. the most Joe Delaney on YouTube? I want to be Turbo Joe. Turbo Joe. <laughs> How'd you end up with Body Power? Uh, Machine Fitness invited me out, so I said uh, I've never been to England or Europe, so it seemed like a good time. Uh, so uh, Machine Fitness pretty much slid in my DMs and they were like, you want to come to Body Power? And I was like, fuck yeah, I do. Same number one for surviving Body Power is, you gotta resist the protein bar samples, man. Otherwise you just end up eating like 800 protein bars. Not a single vitamin in sight. Don't shit for about 11 days, man. Moderation. It's like 10 to 1, and I was about to leave the, the stand. Let me check if the mic's on. Yeah, the mic's on. I was about to leave the stand there, and I got accosted by a lot of people. And then it just turns out that I'm actually too famous. I've actually made it too much. I'm too big time. So, it's really hard, it's difficult. It's a tough life, man. Not legit, though. Everyone seems cool. If I already met you by lunchtime on Friday, you seem cool. Apart from that one weird lad, you know who you are. Just kidding. Right, I'm wandering, man. Tenno buggy. <laughs> yes, to the fucking Justin Bieber style motherfucker shit. Alright, so we're in the gym. It's actually called the gym. That's what it's called. It's pretty shit, but we got it free, so it's sound. So we're here today with. Mr. Anthony, I just I don't know how you say his name, man. We got a Dutch guy. We got, uh, we got Chris Elkins. Is that Chris Elkins? Nah, it's, what's his name, man? Who's that Jeff Side looking motherfucker? The 12 year old man. Justin Martellini. We got Connor Murphy, the uh, web, oh. webcam extraordinaire. Nice guy. <laughs> he, uh, actually, it's cool. I act, uh, since he's like a lot older than I am, obviously, he's like a lot of like, I don't know, I guess the word we like contrast between us, but it's cool because like, you can learn a lot from him. He's actually pretty knowledgeable, and I like that. A lot of people, you know, they kind of just do this finish thing, they don't really know what they're talking about, but Chris does, so it's cool. Respect that. We're going too deep, man. Kind of weird, like, we're going you're method like, on this shit. You're training with your family, right? You guys are machine fitness, so like you're training on a machine. How does that work? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, machine is that kind of weird? You guys were like, I heard this guy was funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're like 99% dad jokes. What just happened? Man? I know, right? That's Yes, the 
chuck away balls towards me. Justin, <laughs> uh, he's he's a young guy who uh, will probably do big things in the industry, and I think that um, he'll learn a lot and continue to grow. <laughs> you just called me a child, <laughs> a little boy. I don't think it came off like that. We'll see. We'll see what the people think. All right. I have a favor or something, but I'm gonna. Oh fuck! Okay, let's go, Connors. Um, I saw him leaving in 10 minutes, I was like 30 minutes ago. Does he mean what's that? Yeah. Shit. Give me those pics with me. What? Hey. Oh, whoa. Whoa now. Whoa. <laughs> uh, this looks pretty bad. It looks bad. Why? Why? <laughs> Why'd you do it, Chris? Alright so. people, so we finished day two of the expo and then we did a pretty shit workout at the gym again. But we went. But we went man, we went. No days off. <laughs> um, I think everyone usually trains at Emporium or like, there's a few gyms everyone goes to but it's just a bit, I think it's just busy and full of fucking, just test the atmosphere mate, just full of test. You don't get any training done, it's just like a networking session. Uh, I think I met plenty of uh, you peeps today. And so, I can't really be bothered like, chasing people around the gym, trying to get, trying to get in Instagram pictures and shit, so. That's it, we're gonna go do some sushi, I might show you. Less than ideal, not ideal. Yeah. In a jockey, man. That's okay. 
It's a. Uh, I know, right? It's, it's well hidden. I keep it hidden. Where? Concealed carry. Concealed carry. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was a great experience. What was the best thing about it? Uh, it's a good question. I, I can't really just put my finger on one specific thing, but uh. Eating like 12 fucking protein donuts. Just, just attending the expo, seeing the English people, very friendly. Just seeing, just the whole, the whole new experience and different vibes. When you said Chris looks like a pedophile in his, uh, his dad's sweater. <laughs> and, um, and then after the expo, hanging out with you, walking around Manchester. I really like Manchester. Even before we left for the expo, I just, I enjoyed the city. It's, uh, it's very charming. It always reaffirms my love for kind of what I do, like fitness and stuff. I've, I feel like it's easy to just pump videos out and still feel quite detached from the people who are, who are, who are watching it. Yes, yeah, um, so you get to engage. Uh, yeah, and, until you actually, or, or at least not detached from them, but you forget it's just numbers going up on the screen and, and you forget that real people are watching it real people are like listening to what you're saying and kind of yeah and, and, and relating to it yeah and real people are, th are thinking some of the same shit that you're thinking and that's cool what what's the plan you haven't been in fitness like very long what what's your plan afterwards uh, what's your plan now go forward just blowing up mate Nah, I don't. I mean, I'm just gonna keep working and uh, trying to continually provide good content and helpful, useful information, along with uh, you know s something that people want to come back for. So uh, transitioning out of my day job and into uh, just doing fitness full time, coaching and uh, you know representing some brands and growing together, networking stuff like that. I'm excited, man. It's like a new chapter. It's like in a book. You know, this is like. This is another chapter in my life that I'm very interested in uh, diving into 100%. When I do things, I like to really focus, you know. Uh, sometimes maybe too much, but I, that's, I mean, you know, successful people are pretty hyper-focused, so I like to be successful one day. I, I challenge him 10 pounds if he does 100 push-ups. He can do it. What? Straight in the arm, man. Yeah. What do you mean? Straight in your arm. Like Long that? I go to expos and I see people and I'm like, oh dude, that guy's like so huge, so shredded, like that motivates me to train harder, but now I'm just like, damn yo, like I have so much potential and I don't want to waste it. So kind of motivated by like other people's success. Not in like a jealous way, but I'm, I'm more like, oh wow, like I could be there, and like so could anyone watching this video right now or whatever. It's just like, why not? Why not me? You know. So. What about uh, like aside from fitness, anything else or what? Like. Uh, I mean, I've never been out of America, and this really made me, bleh, really made me realize that I like traveling a lot and seeing new places. So, definitely gonna try to travel a lot more. Whoa, you gotta zoom in so you don't get fish eyed. Alright, people, wait, stay out, man. It's a surprise. Okay. <laughs> it's a surprise. Alright, people, so we are just uh, taking five minutes and we got a special guest with us. Now sponsored by Bull Pals. <laughs> yes, no. So we're sad, we're catching up, saying hi, and uh, I'm just, just getting like. Just making some plans, man. Yeah, I'm just getting, getting like, like, and, like counseling from Joe that's what's, that's what's happening. Why is this guy ever? That's what's happening, yeah. man. Excuse We're, my voice uh, is gone. It's the very last couple of hours of body power and it was hectic. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have like a. Uh, a pre Ibiza life catch up yeah. and a post Ibiza life catch up. Yeah. It's gonna be very different, man. It's very different. It's gonna be like afterwards. It's gonna be like a support network. A few people sat in a chair. We take turns standing up and telling our stories. Tommy and being B like, needs to be there. Once so. upon a time, like, <laughs> even if Tommy B doesn't go to Ibiza, like when I was in the fitness industry, <laughs> Before I blew it. anyway, people are gonna say alright to each other without a camera in our faces and uh, check out. But I'll speak to you in the next clip anyway. Peace. Like, a lot of the videos I'm, I'm on my channel, it's not like one consistent theme, man. It's not like this, this the, like, I might do something that's a little bit more informative and actually about lifting or something, and then I might.
be in Ibiza with my mates and then I might do a Tinder video and then I might do a video where I'm being a philosophical fuck and think, you know, talking about life and shit. And if someone's there for all of it, then they really understand you, you know. If they're there for all of it and they still don't, they don't unsubscribe, <laughs> then that's all right, man. You think, well, I've shown people every facet of me and it's all right with them, which is pretty cool. Jordan Lenny is my hero.